What's happening in our real estate market globally? That's the question of the hour. Well, first off, let me just start off by saying that I am just reporting what analysts and real estate experts across the nation are predicting. I personally, nor anyone else, can control or predict what will actually happen. But according to Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and several other analysts, they are predicting economic growth in the third quarter, ranging from 15 to 25 percent. A graph statistic from Opportunity Insights shows that businesses ranging from healthcare to transportation all had a decline in consumer spending in the first half of the year, with the exception of groceries, which actually went up. So it's good news that their predictions from the analysts are that we will see progress in the third quarter as compared to the first half of the year. In fact, according to Lisa Shallett, the Chief Investment Officer of Morgan Stanley, states and I quote, Indeed, the worst ever GDP reading could be followed by the best ever growth in the third quarter. So we are starting to see a rebound. Small businesses obviously have been impacted due to the stresses and the issues that are happening across the globe. But how has this impacted the real estate market nationally? How have we recovered there? Well, I'm gonna show you a few quotes from several economists and real estate analysts regarding the recovery of the housing market. And it's very interesting. It almost reads like a movie trailer. Realtor.com, astonishing rebound. Housing Wire, shockingly strong. Zillow, stared the pandemic right in the eye and hasn't blinked. Myers Research, has been nothing short of remarkable. So, it seems that housing may play a critical role in the recovery. Since about the middle of May, the weekly showings of housing, people are out in full force looking at homes across the nation. People are actually looking now more than they have been throughout the entire year. According to the National Association of Realtors, the housing market index looks at four things, demand, supply, price, and time on the market. It combines those things together and creates an index so it shows that we are recovering strongly. So the question is, what is going to happen with pricing? What should you do? Well, we'll get more into the details on that later. And as always, I'm here to help.